guys, it's me, JW4X, and I'm back. And today we're actually gonna, uh, going to continue on our Banished mini-series. And I don't mean that the mini-series is Banished, I mean the game is called Banished and it's my mini-series. Uh, but, yeah. So, in the previous episode we had a food, we had a food crisis, which we kind of still have. I'm trying to pump the house full of supplies so that I can I can have a sustain at least for some time. Uh, so I can sacrifice people to uh, to clean this mess because I want to I want to harvest all that iron really handy later. I think I'm going to build another stockpile right outside of there. Let's build a stockpile there. Uh, stockpiling. There, that looks good. Now we have two stuff files. Uh, okay, so now I am going. Let's take a risk. Now I'm taking a very calculated and very dangerous risk right now. Giving those two gatherers up. Rather, I won't have it like that. Yes, now I'll have some people dedicated to claiming this, which will make the forest lodge work better. I just gotta see, alright, so we got stone here, which we... Yep, now we're cutting it up. Great. Uh, fast forwarding, fast forwarding, fast forwarding, we have max speed. Okay, we got enough wood to build a house. There we go, we've got one builder on that thing now. And we've got ten people. The problem is here, I could already have doomed the village. Because, in the last episode, we had a death. A huge, I mean, I probably lost, we can see here how many we died. Uh, one, two, three, four, Yep. That's not from this episode. Um, four people. Mostly with children. Uh, like any the child there we can see. Uh, Hal was a... Uh, he was a laborer. And Javi the Gatherer. Oh crappy. This is not good. <laughs> now I hope I'm not going to shoot myself in the foot by this by building some houses now because the the thing with Banish is this repopulation uh, cycle because if you want to have a population explosion you gotta build many houses which of course I'm going to show off my other town in probably this episode in a couple of minutes but that's a problem in the beginning like this because I do not have the su supply rates to be able to sustain such a population explosion. So I'm basically always running uh, running this far from that. Uh, so now let me see. Let's do one builder down. Yes, we're actually getting us getting some some type of sustained food economy. Uh, okay, but I'll just show you what I mean. Let's pause the video here for a second and save it to Reisburg. Uh You want to save the game? Yes. And then we load in my right. Delete that one. Uh, we're loading loading in Levington because this is actually I can show off my. I had a couple more worlds, but all of them died out. Uh, so here's my here's my town, and this is only a small portion. This is an outpost. Uh, so I got a chapel, a graveyard, a boarding house, a tavern. Da 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 da. da. I got everything here. 
And then we have this small piece here. I'm actually going to bring up the map. Okay, the map is behind me, so you can see it. But let's put the map there. Okay. Here we have one of my... This is probably my most distant outpost. This is easily. That's why it has its, it has its own fishing yard, so it can sustain itself. The amazing thing is that it's filled. Um, then we have an outpost there. Here we have a tiny residential area with, with its own farm and things and that. That one's full too, dang it. And then here we have another one. Post. This was probably my first. No, this was my second. No, third. Here's the big town. Welcome to the big city, mates. As you can see, we've got stone houses all around. But, uh... I'm not going to tell you this lore yet. But we've got orchards, we've got chickens, oh mama, is this a lot of chickens. Uh, I think we're getting slaughtered. Uh, we've got sheep, we've got pastures, uh, a town hall. I've, I've probably recruited or accepted in over 70 nomads in this thing, uh, which has really helped me a lot. Uh -huh. Aha. Okay, well, no citizens available for work, so like that's fine. Um, that's why I'm laughing. Okay, so that one is not full, so I don't know nothing to upgrade to the latter one yet. But we've got... I think we've got two or three mines running. We've got that one, and then we've got this one, the coal mine, which I haven't uh, put up yet. I think this one also... It's, no, it gets iron. And then here we have another outpost. Looks like a lot of people are staying homeless. Or rather, out of school. And um, we haven't got any tail. Alright, I can sustain that for some time. There's no need to work on that. I have actually had some fires. Uh, I think I had one or two. And then we have this big bridge over here. I do not know how long this is, but it's way too long. We got a fishing dock underway. I was planning to build quarries here, but. Uh, I decided not to. I'm, I'm waiting because I, I could use this as an expansion of a residential area. Here we've got another. This is a town under construction here. We've got a mine. Another mine. And then we got the trading outpost here. An outpost here for forest lodging and things. And a almost dug up quarry. It's going to be fun to see what happens to this when it's finished. Uh, but, yeah. That's it. And this town has actually needed to survive through some pretty harrowing experiences. Ooh, a merchant has arrived. That's chickens. He got chickens. For four chickens. For 500. I got my own chickens. Thanks. And then I think a merchant should be. Yep, he's here too. He's got food and things, but I don't need any of that. The problem is that when you get up to a town of this magnitude, like 129, yeah, you see the numbers there. Incredible. Alright, that's creepy actually. When I do this, hover over that, the Discord comes up for some reason. But I think that's because I changed the... Okay, but that's, I think that's because I changed the stage for No! Crap. Uh, fish mix. Oh, come on, my mites. We're losing people. Um, right, I gotta turn these ones down. Give the curves, man. And, uh... Okay, so we do... Oh, it's a stain, but it's not cool. Uh, uh, this is not good. But it's not good. Either. I don't know, shut down everything, but it doesn't require so much. Okay. So that's about it. Let's save this uh, to Livington. And I want to show you an example of a sit town before I go. 
that is not well made and that is doomed to death. And I'll explain why in a minute. As soon as I this was my very first town. Uh, okay, so as we can see here, we've got unemployed people, we've got freezing people, and we haven't got a woodcutter, and we're only in the same year. So I have planned out these, all these things that are paused, you see, like, the, that one, and that one. These are things I've put up a long time after I technically abandoned this village. Because if you check this... We've got a herbalist in the middle of town. That's not a good idea, that's the first thing. Do not put those in the middle of town. Uh, I put a blacksmith in, uh, although I almost doesn't have any iron to support him. I put in a hospital, which is a huge waste this early on in the game. That's something you do in like the, maybe the 10th year or something like that. This That's a late game asset. Uh, same with the market, that's one you put in a couple, a lot of years, uh, when, you, when you're planning to do the big expansion, not too many years before you're going to put a town hall, this is the one that, that goes. Uh, these ones, uh, it's not something I would recommend unless you're going, this one was made on medium and I had some seeds, but that one's not recommended, uh, putting out crop fields. At least in the beginning, because they their production is hampered by time and the shifting of weather patterns. Because you know when it goes over to winter, they don't produce anything, which means that half of the year they're in they're unproductive. And I thought, okay, let's put out some crop fields here now. They'll produce food, and then we'll have for the winter and stuff. No, they don't only produce. They're almost uh, they produce for maybe like. A quarter of a year, depending on the size. But this one will produce maybe to one house for half a year. This one will give maybe two houses half a year. The school, however, is something you can, but I would recommend the third year for this one. Uh, the woodcutter is definitely the first year thing. Same, you see, I never built a boarding house, I just put a lot of houses. That's also a bad thing because it could uh, give the villagers an invite to start reproducing because the more houses you have the more they reproduce you see I have a that was a waste a totally empty house that was a crappy waste and I put out the trading post here which you see it has up a lot of stuff before I finally uh, started to actually post it now, this could be an idea, the problem is, you're going to have to be trading a crap load of stuff to be able to get the food that you need. So, the woodcutter, definitely first year, hospital, late game, a herbalist, out of town, uh, and then also forest lodge, very important in the beginning, like the third year or something like that. You saw, you've seen in my town, I'm up at the maybe sixth year, and I just... I put it out and it was way too late. Um, the blacksmith, second year, second or third, depending on how many tools you have. 20 is low. For this, it's good, but 20 is usually low. Uh, the school, second to third year. Woodcutter, definitely thirst. Fishing dock, as soon as you can. Uh, and something I completely forgot was this one. Let me just show you how it looks. It's this little thing right here. This one. The gatherer's hut. This one is a definitely first or second year. The, the quicker you can get this out. This is first priority after you've made a boarding house. is the gatherer. This one and the woodcutter. Boarding house, woodcutter, gatherer. Uh, those three are essential in the first two years to be able to put out and fill with people and do not put them you know like like this or something that's crap put them like yeah let me see a good place where you could have there is one but i will want to expand to that place later there is one but uh, that one's very bad this one could work if we put out a forest lodge that would probably be the best place uh, could also put it here 
Although I probably won't expand to that area because I, I want this whole area here. And the market. Maybe 7th or 8th year, something like that, when you feel you have a stable enough economy because that's a very expensive build. Let me see how much it costs actually. The market is there. 58 wood, 62 stone, 40 iron. That's not something. I do not know how, how in the whole world I could afford for that, but yeah. That's a very bad idea. So, examine this as an example of not how to play Banished. This has every mistake you can imagine. But okay, this is all for me this time. I actually gotta go now. Uh, thanks to everyone who's been watching. Uh, and uh, if you want to say something, you know where to find me. Put it in the comments. And I'll respond to them. Uh, and, and also, a question is going out here. Or no, I'll take it in the next episode. Sayonara for now, my friends. Stay tuned.